What are the top three problems you may face when you're troubleshooting an open circuit on a fire alarm system? If you don't know what an open circuit is, an open circuit is when the circuit is actually missing the value of its resistance. Whatever the value of the resistance is, the circuit cannot see it, so the voltage will go higher and then it will cause an open circuit. If you're new to troubleshooting and you're out there trying to figure out how do you troubleshoot open circuits and actually get better at doing it, here's what I did to learn the components to help me understand how I can actually get better when troubleshooting open circuits. So the first thing I do is I go to a circuit that's normal. I measure the voltage, I write that voltage down so that way I know what the normal voltage is. I take off one wire, then I measure the voltage again so I can see what the circuit is like when it's open. I write that down also so that way I know what the normal voltage is and I know what the open circuit voltage is. Then I'll take the second wire off, then I'll switch my meter over to ohms so that way I can measure both wires to see what the end of line resistance is and then I'll record that. So now that I know what the normal circuit should look like, I know what an open circuit should look like and I know what the normal value of resistance is and then I'll put everything back together and then I'll go to the circuit that's not working and I'll see which one of the three is not working and then I'll go on my troubleshooting from there. So what are the top three problems you will face when you're troubleshooting an open circuit? The first one is a missing or broken resistor. The end of line resistor that comes with the module sometimes is not as heavy duty. It may be a little fragile. So you may want to be careful when you install the end of line resistor on the wire that you're using. If it's a 16 or 14 gauge, you want to make sure you have a very good connection between the wire, the resistor, and also that circuit. So that way you don't get an open circuit if there's any vibration on that particular module or device. So a lot of times you can have also a broken wire. The wire can be broken due to either construction, a construction crew cut the wire, a screw is in the wire. Most oftentimes that i found using a linesman plier, you can actually nick the cable. So if you actually try to swing it around and strip the cable off, you sometimes can end in a little bit too much. So that way that wire has a little indentation in it. And then over time, that wire right there can break, giving you an open circuit. And the third thing, which is not common, but it can happen, you may just have a bad circuit. If you're not getting any voltage out the circuit itself, then that circuit most of the times will either go open or say some type of other fault. And at that point, you may either need to change out the panel or a power supply card, depending on the type of system that you're actually working on. And if you're still struggling to understand fire alarm, or if you just want to get better at troubleshooting or even programming, I have a free fire alarm academy. It's going to be free for the first 100 people. So I suggest you every now we have about 25 slots left. So if you want to learn more, you can head down to the description. There you will find a link. That link will take you over to my free training academy. You will find more information there. If you have any questions about fire alarm, if you have any questions about camera systems, if you have any questions about anything dealing with fire alarm or security codes, anything like that, let's chop it up in the comments. Fire alarm expert out. Peace.